and his feeling I'm not. Dinga said, See, Ubabi Squazi, Uvaspala way to Akinzi table, as his army. When to mock my lake, he was been as well as a band of a pillar. So was by helping that. We went on, like, we want to see this happen, we want to have a new life, we want to see that we belong to a society and that we are still in the society, not that we are just dropped here and nobody's looking out for us. Rocks, rubber bullets, tear gas and stun grenades. Police exchange fire with residents of a small informal settlement Obviously, there are two cities. We can't run away on that. If you go down from Langa, you will see those people, they don't have informal settlement. But if you come this side, these people are experiencing flooding. And it makes me angry, you know, sorry to say, it's the black people that are residing in those settlements. And it tells you that, yes, in theory, we are free, but practically we are not free because we are not equal. I've been seeing where the people demonstrate on the road. And when I ask why people demonstration, you will find that people, they need a basic services, which is water and sanitation. Electricity is the key when you are residing in the informal segment. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be by 150 this song, excluding Abantuana by me. And then next letter is seven. So I know the toilet is available for me, I will go to the bathroom. As near each other, this is the banana. So, so I will ask number. Number is the spin now. Sit there and wait till the spin. We got mad, but I'm full of fresh, fresh water and pack up the tepi. Umban ke ona na tone nfunu yenza ke question nfuna ngalo ndi akwazi lanzi ke bona ngo ndi suka up bipheke ngapha ya for real commands ke kaphela mhlambe ndishi umntana apho lele mhlambe umbana ukho ndi basila phikhasi but ke anyanzele kanti o commands abantu ala bethu bagula okokoko because kumdaka akukho miqomo nayi phupalam ba ndizibone ndi ndihlale endlini enkulu apho sizo kwazi ba sithonele sonke phekhaya it's not acceptable. We have so much to still close the gap between the poor and the rich. The city is every day constantly rolling out services as far best they can. Sometimes the landowner do not allow the city to provide on privately owned land. And so that is challenging. But if we want to look at the future and we want to really close the gap, it is for us to empower people. Morning, morning, morning. have a nice time. Okay. I get up at quarter to four in the morning, take my trolley, go to the station, and they asked that to half past eight, quarter to nine. Bye, Melissa. Bye, everybody. Get home about nine. I have my breakfast, take my tablets, go and sleep. 
get up and see. Am I making supper tonight? Uh, Tupi, are you eating tonight? No, I'm finished, then I don't cook. <laughs> so, <laughs> that, is the, that is my day job. You couldn't find a better person. It's unbelievable the energy she's got. A woman for the community. She will stand up the people can knock 2 o'clock in the morning for a problem. I told her, you're the police, you're the magistrate, you're the doctor, you're the community leader. What more? <laughs> when I came here, there was no flamingo here. It was just an open field. Then law enforcement brought the people here so that they can stay here until they got alternative places for them to go to. So it was going to be for three months. And the three months became nine years. Here was nothing here. Used to have the bucket system to go and do the toilets. Dig a big hole and everybody goes there and then when it's full, we closed it up, make another hole. And it was like a pig's because everybody used to come and mess and do whatever they feel like doing. So we came together and we started to talk. Look at this place. Isn't there anything that we can do for the community here? So that's why we came across ISN. And then we started to see things a little bit better. Once we start that process, we need to start profiling those segments. We need to start enumerating. Enumeration is not a good thing. House to house. How many rooms? Three. Three rooms. 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 Once the community take the lead on the upgrading, definitely you will need the partners. And a key partner in this case is the city. Because the city is the one who got all the resources. The housing challenge for the city is huge. They're only busy with 1990 at the moment. So people that registered in 1990, they are now about to get that housing opportunity. Some people wait and they never receive the opportunity. When we look at our settlements, how do we deal with that? We look at how can we upgrade where they are. My mother was waiting 28 years on a waiting list. I had to talk to my mother before she closed the eyes and I told her I want to put you in a better place. So when she closed the eyes, I still went on with us, upgrading the form of the settlement. If there is no houses, it's important to have your place upgrade because that's the only way out. And it's the only way to keep your dignity so that you stay in a stable place. When we started working with Flamingo, they had one tap for water. Some of them had to walk far to get to the water point. They didn't have electricity. We had lots of fires there. We had two fires in our informal settlement. The first fire took half of the informal settlement and the second fire took a two-year-old kid. The fire started, everybody had to throw water and how long to take to throw a fire out when there's only two taps in the informal settlement. And the tap is running slow. We didn't ask them, we told them what we want. Electricity, first thing. Water, second thing. Then we start drawing our own plans and how we want it. What is nice, they looked at the safety of themselves and then they wanted a cluster form of how they could have a communal type of block where people can look onto people's doors and actually look out for one another as a community. I can tell you it was difficult to go in because of the density. You must understand there was a lot of crime, robbing people, even the killing is happening there. Why is it safe? Because yes, more space, 
use a lot of lights we can see maybe at night time and now it's like you my neighbor have to watch over your door and you have to watch over my door so that's how the bond of friendship and communication become in the informal system it's what upgrading bring it brings security Then we said, okay, look, now it's contribution time. And then the people was going, other people get things for nothing. Why must we pay? In the beginning, the people didn't have trust in us as committee members. They would say, you eat my money up, you want to buy a new BM, you want to build your big house from our money. And I was going, if we want to have a better life, we have to pay. You can't go into the shop and take a bread and say you don't have to pay for it because then it's stealing. Then the people decided, okay, they are going to contribute. And then the city put us off for a year. So everybody was crying for their money back because it's never going to happen. And I said, no, wait, it's going to happen. Why lose the fight? Because Sunday we start last year, and the city was saying the project is going to start, is going to start. But there was this conflict in between the community members. The land is here blocking. That is why fully because of that I is reserved. So we found out that the project is not going to start now because we need to sort out these issues. It wasn't easy, but everything doesn't come easy. We waited years and years, nothing happened until we changed the people's mindset. It's like they say, true love travels on a gravel road. So we travel this gravel road. Now it's running smooth. It's not that smooth, but it's coming to it. Maybe in five years time, we will go back to the government and ask them, can't we build our brick houses where we are staying? And maybe we will give it. Oh, yes, cut that for this. Yo, pass my tea. It's not informal anymore, it's formal. It's a formal settlement yes. because we got our street names, they deliver our letters, we got our own wheelie bins. What more do we want? I still have to do a lot of things, but it doesn't matter. As long as you are in your own place and you feel this is home now, yes. I can settle down, then you'll find it's going to be all right. Don't cry. I'm not crying, but I'm happy. Uh, I, I don't know what do you say now, because I feel now if I can, I take this house and put that in my <laughs> settlement now, not tomorrow. <laughs> So the number Morning, morning, how are you? You don't want luxury, you just want to be comfortable. 
the luxury can come afterwards if there is but just to be able to love one day at a time will also do fine because should the Lord come tomorrow you know you've done that today you know what you want out of life so if you do have a chance take it Thank you.